Dodger Stadium, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Mookie Betts. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog. It, it's offensively at the plate. Defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player. But he's got so much talent. And he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation. Because you never see him give away an at-bat. So just about set, our starter in this one, Bobby Miller. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. And now here's the veteran DH, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. The designated hitter, Xander Bogarts. And here it comes. Strike on the outside. And that's how this game gets started. That just misses. One and one. Now he'll turn for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. All he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, Tatis is so athletic. He probably could have carved out a career in other sports if he wanted, but he grew up in a baseball family with baseball in his blood. Man at second. In the air, right field. He's got it. Runner tags up for third, and he's in safely at third with oh. one out. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, this is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Jake Cronenworth hey. in the box now. Take strike one. One away with a runner at third. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. Oh, that's great. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. In the air to left down the line. And that's a foul ball. That one a little bit high. And yeah, the count's even at two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Manny Machado waits on deck. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Three, two on the way. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Well, oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And now it's Manny Machado. Sizzling on its 
way to the outfield. Run scores easily, and the Padres strike first. It's 1 0. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Two outs, runner on first. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Gets the call. That's strike one. 0 and 1. Two outs. 0 oh, 1. 1 0. Oh. Chase the swing. Appeal down to third. And James Kingsley says he won a round. Pitch oh, misses God. there. It's two and two. Righty delivers. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Now it's the shortstop, Hassan Kim. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, two outs. Line drive. Flashes the runner and the run at five. And that's the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this the one. Second base. Leading off, Mookie yeah. Betts. Yeah. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dives, but it's off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. No outs, runner at first. Chris Taylor down. A bit behind with that swing. Oh, it's one. strike one. The 0 1. There's a swing and a miss. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes and one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. At that time, a little anxious. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Swings and misses. Strike one. All one's the count. Ball one there. Way to lay off that pitch down. Freeman hits it in the air. Brings it in. Batting four. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Mookie Betts. 
Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort in, on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Teoscar Hernandez stands in now and watches strike one. Betts off the of first with two away. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. And that's oh, outside. That's Swinging, and that is that. So the Dodgers leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, top of the second. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. The right hander back to work. That one in triple digits. Campusano in his second season, 25 years old, and he was a second round pick. Oh, and a nice sliding stop. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. That one's in there. That's strike one. One out, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important hey. thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. The one, two. Ouch. Got him looking. And now two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Tyler Wade. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back there. And it's out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 2-0. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. And that one is inside ball one. Two down bases empty, but one run across here at the top of the second. That one clips the outside corner, and the count one and one. And there's a foul ball. And the next pitch is way outside. Towards first. 
Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. And that'll do it. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And it's two zip. We head to the bottom Ladies of the second, and, and at the plate for the Dodgers, the Max Muncy. Man. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. Right side. They get oh. the out on Muncie. That exists. No left field. Kike. Here's Kike Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Ball. And there's a ball. In the air, left side. Profar has a feed on it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that Bad pitch man. away and wasn't able to stay close. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Oh, and a good nope. eye there. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's, that's downstairs two. and outside. Two balls, no strike. Two balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Cronenworth drifts towards it, tries to make the play, but it's foul. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. On the ground, right side. Wade slings the first. And that is the inning. Dodgers down in order. And they're down 2 nothing. <laughs> On to the third inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Fernando Tatis Jr. Miller back to work. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, one strike. And another ball. That That's one misses, and a count is three and one. The wind of the pitch. Left field. Hernandez has it sized up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left.
headed towards the corner sizing this one up two down now bad the third base Manny two outs base is empty Manny Machado up to the plate singled and drove in a run his first time through he swings and fouls one off Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a pop up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. This to third. Muncie. Rolls across oh. the diamond. Machado out of the play. That's the third out. Nothing doing there for the Friars as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here in L.A., except for the bottom of the third. Here's the veteran shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And he'll one. Foul ball there. Fights it off. You'll see another. And that one missing low. Offering is outside. And that one in the air center field on the move. Stretches out and hauls it in. Now that's a tough play for the infielder raging back into the outfield. There's one of them that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me on. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. There he drops in for a strike. That's in there. Oh, a two now. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum oh, going. And this is inside. That one in the dirt. Two and two. One down, base is empty. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie Betts. Yeah. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, 1. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Next one offering one. down low and in the dirt. In the air, left field. Under it. Drops into the glove. That is the inning. Start of the fourth. So digging in now for San Diego. Jerickson Profar. is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. 
Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Muncy drifts towards it. And there's one down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride hat. up in the, the zone right foul. there. Hitter Possibly looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Slapped foul. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Down the line. Hernandez ranging after it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The bat. The, bat. the catcher. The Luis. Here's the catcher. Campusano. Luis Campusano. First time up, he grounded to third. In there for strike one. That's, That's a, a little bit low. Riding to the plate. And yep. that's a little high. The ball next pitch three. misses, and that's ball three. Three ball, three three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. 3-1 is on the way. That one the other way. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Wins the He's race up. to the bag. He keeps his composure, and they get the out. to hit. He's over for one. That nope. one missed. Outside. Just Whoa, missed. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And it stays fair. Rose to second. And he's got a double. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. With the tying run at the plate, we're here at the bottom of the fourth. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab for the second out. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The third base is number 13. Man. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And that's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. One ball, one strike. Squirts away a little bit. Over to third, but the throw is offline. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, that right there can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball's gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it because you're already in scoring position. Well, he was sure there, and now he's only 90 feet away from scoring. Tying run at the plate. Swung on, belted. Merrill going back. 
makes the grab and a leaping play at the wall. A lot of room in the center field area, and that's why he knows he's got a chance to run it down and make a great play. Leaps at the fence. Excellent job. Robs the home run to end the inning. And welcome back we to the ballpark. And the batter now, the Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Sends it across it. the first. One up, one down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier no, enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled Second over on it, and beat it into the ground. Tyler. Next for the Padres, Tyler Wade. He's already homered in this game. Eight. And there's the strike. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Strike two. Yeah, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's pretty right. tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Just outside. Now one and two. It's a good take. Oh, and another ball. Wild. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. The line of the pitch. And there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Bogarts in the box again takes the strike man 91 on the slider right there that's a hard one that's a low end fastball for some pitchers and a pitch hey. tied him up inside with that one talk about tying oh, a guy up that was ugly hey. and down on strikes he goes and good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Padres go down quietly, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Kike Hernandez. All oh, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on the pitch bounce to third gets it to first and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth the center, the center fielder, fielder number 33, 33. Jay. So digging in, James Outman. Grounded out his first time up. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The Padres up by two. Last half of inning number five. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Rojas takes a ball as he stands in for the second time.
Two down, nobody on. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, a low-scoring ball game in this one. Two-nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two-nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Two runs on four hits, no errors. They left two runners on base. For the Dodgers, no runs on only two hits, no errors. They left two runners on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 22 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance: us selling 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.